In this video, I'm going to share with you an easy way to stop the gun doubles or the 2x2 two two sets that you're going to be facing online in Madden 22. This is a great defense, in my opinion, for just slowing down some of those 2x2 two two sets that can be frustrating to deal with. It's a really simple defense, but honestly, it's super, super effective. And it, on, it, what I love about this defense is it does a really good job against a lot of the bombs that a lot of people like to run out of the good doubles. So we're going to show that in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that. And also, if you have not picked up my Nickel 245 Odd Defensive eBook yet, I would encourage you to do that. It's a one-time purchase of $15, and we're actually going to be updating this defensive guide for you throughout the course of the Madden 22 season. Whenever we find something new or whenever a patch changes a concept or a new meta develops, we're going to be updating you within the 245 odd defense so if you want to get access to the 245 odd defense there's a link in the description below and you can get that for just 15 bucks now the coverage that we're gonna or the the i've got the detroit playbook up and i honestly absolutely love the detroit playbook i think the detroit playbook it is probably i mean it's got to be up there man it's it's one of the top playbooks this year in my opinion i think it's probably the best playbook if you're not a gun bunch like if that's not your only formation that you want to run um this playbook is really really good so let's just dive into this and uh we're going to be coming out in the cover six out of the two four five odd and what i like about this is we literally can run this defense and basically make zero adjustments whatsoever to the coverage so we're going to show you how this coverage works against two by two all we're going to do is we're going to spread our defensive line we're going to qb uh you can qb contain i like to just crash my line down um and you know if you wanted to what you could also do is you know you could flip this or whatever but i like this right here this is honestly fine for me and this will be pretty decent against a lot of different types of sets so you know again you could spread your linebackers and contain rush if you want to try to get this pressure uh right here i might maybe manually move that guy out just a little bit and if you stand kind of right here you can blow up a lot of the inside zone stuff you just basically stand just outside the guard just like that right there and if they run inside zone which i don't have here let me just audible over I won't even worry about it. Uh, but if they run inside zone, you can shoot it right here. Um, we show that in the guide. But anyway, let's show you the coverage. So you're going to use or this guy. Now, you have a couple of different options of what you could do on the backside. This soft squat guy on the right, um, he's going to always, ideally, we want him to be to the short side of the field. And so what that means is we can do several different things with that zone. Um, we can play. I, I like to change it, man. I I will, sometimes I'll leave the soft squat, sometimes I'll turn it into a cloud flat, sometimes I'll turn it into a hard flat. It just depends on the situation and how they're attacking me. Because if they're if they're going to do this, let me show you a simple route combo that they could do that would make this a little bit difficult. We're going to run four verticals on the right, and then we're going to take the running back and we're going to put him on a little in route, okay? And if you watch this, what's going to happen is that soft squat is going to bail with that running back route. So we have to climb up that field. And as you see there, I mean, you got it matched, but as you can see, there's some room for the offense to be able to be effective. Um, you know, but what I like about this is this is going to stop a lot of your flooding concepts. So for example, if they're running like a Y sale type of setup like this right here, um, this is going to do a really good job. So all we're going to do is use this guy. We don't change the coverage at all we literally just use this guy right here and that's it and what you're going to see is this is going to completely bag your flooding concept you see you get match coverage and it just does a really really good job of taking that away now another concept that a lot of people like especially out of uh like a two by two set like this is you'll see a lot of like smash style concepts where they have basically an underneath hitch and they'll have this uh, this little smoke screen or hitch and then they'll have the corner route over the top. So that might mean that they do something essentially along these lines with the running back. Maybe they put that running back on an in route or whatever, right? Your primary responsibility here is basically this little box. It's the vertical hook responsibility. You're going to kind of wall off the tight end if he goes vertical. You might have to even match him up the seam. But what you're going to see here is this flooding concept concept the smash concept is completely bagged by this defense that's why i like it so much because we're able to really significantly limit the routes that they can actually run to be very effective against our defense so literally all you have to do is set up the pressure and another thing that you could do if you wanted to out of this if you wanted to send a little bit more pressure is you could do this right here where you just blitz that guy and you're going to click onto this guy and user him and what you'll see is you'll get this looping pressure or you'll get some a gap heat um you know different types of concepts but anyway this is a way that you can 
this is a way that you can get some pretty decent pressure uh, out of this formation. Just basically spread your linebackers, and then you're just going to globally uh, blitz that linebacker on the right. And then if you wanted to, you could QB contain uh, just to kind of help this a little bit. But what you'll see is you'll get this really nice little blitzing looping angle that is really, really effective in Madden. Okay, so you can use that and add your own, you know, discrepancy. But I typically like to use her this vertical hook defender. Um, or, I mean, well, honestly, that's what I like to do. Now, the beauty of this is, let's say they run a crossing route to the tight end. So, like a Y cross type of setup, just like this. I want you to watch how this play does a really good job against that. You're going to see this three rec defender match onto the tight end and basically take the crossing route away. That's one of the main reasons why I really like this because you get such good coverage for that Y cross type of concept. Now, if they run the same exact, uh, basically the same exact concept, we'll show we're going to run it from the other side. So it would look something like this. You have, you have kind of a Y crossing cro concept. Now, this is where your vert hook defender is going to climb up the vertical and kind of shield this crosser. But this crosser will get matched. So you're going to come like out here, and then you're going to come back in here. And as you see, I mean, that's very good defense. Your job is just to kind of force them to have to you know again you're in that little box so if there's no work in that box you can bail into the crosser and take that away um let me show you real quick and this is more um because of the route ability that godwin has it's not because the defense isn't a sound call you'll see the guy is going to be in position here but if they do run this deep crosser he gets matched right but he can get some separation so that and that's primarily because of his route running ability now if you have a uh, a defender there that has high overall ratings they can actually play this fairly decently and i'll tell you right now you know this is a really so sound defense now i'm going to give you a couple of other things that i want to go over and that's the bombs so one of the most popular bombs that people will use is this right here it's essentially a cover three beater Okay, and if you watch this against that cover six, I'm not going to do anything. I just want to show you. You're going to see here that the deep half defender is going to drift back and he's going to take that away every single time. That's one of the big reasons why I love this. I absolutely love this defense. So I'll show it to you again. We're going to go to that double post. Um, it's just basically a skinny post, a streak. And then what you'll do on the backside is you could do, you know, like a delay fade and then maybe like a running back high low read on the on the right as a check down. You have to come back and everything. But if you watch this, that deep half defender will always bail back to that double post. So you're able to take that read away. Um, now, I'm not saying the double post is not still a really good play. Like if you watch this play against cover six, let me just show you how it looks. You'll see that for the most part, it plays it pretty well. That deep half defender in my opinion, you want to leave him as much as possible because it's a really glitchy defender and he'll do some crazy stuff. Like he'll just randomly match a crosser and even bring this guy down maybe into the box like this. Um, you know, just kind of, he's kind of like your, your roaming defender. And to be honest with you, he does a lot of really interesting things in coverage. You're going to see like right here, see that, see how he takes that crosser. He kind of, he kind of baits that crosser. Then he goes to the post that's why I like this cover six defense so much. If you want to, here's another way that you could run this. You could put the right of screen corner on the deep half. You could put the defensive linebacker on the right side on a hard flat or a curl, uh, curl flat. And then you could use or this guy if you wanted to do that. You certainly could. And this is going to you know, play a little bit differently now. But it's essentially the same coverage. It's, and you still have that deep half defender. It's just now you have more of a hard flat type of approach like i said i'll occasionally so if they're running a lot of um like if they're running a lot of like drags so they might do like a curl um maybe they do like a streak to the tight end and then they do a drag right something like this um this is where this is a situation where i really like to take this guy and again, I'll just, I'll every now and then put him in a hard flat and he'll take away stuff like that. So you see here, you're going here and then you see there's that drag coming right into your hard flat. If you got an acrobat or flat zone KO over there, that's going to be an interception. So, you know, the cover six to me is a really good coverage for a lot of different offenses, but it's really specifically, I think, very, very, very good against a formation like this. You just want to make sure that your cover four side is to the wide side of the field. So, for example, let's say that the hash mark, let's say that the ball's on this hash right here, or it's not even necessarily like that, 
But you just want this, in my opinion, you want the cover four side to be to the three receiver side. So, for example, if they flip their formation, you need to flip with them. And you'll see here, not only is this going to be, this is going to give us a significantly better pressure. Um, you can do a lot with this. But again, you know, you get something like this. To me, this is one of the best coverages you could possibly run right now in the game. As long as you're using over the middle and just forcing that, you're going to get matching principles all over the field. Every now and then they'll throw something on you. But this is a pretty solid little defense. I'd encourage you to try that out and let me know what you think. If you want to get my full 245 odd defensive scheme, we'll teach you how to send pressure out of this concept. We'll teach you how to have great run defense as well. And we'll also uh, teach you how to shut down every individual meta formation in the game. We actually have individual tutorials on stopping gun bunch or stopping bunch tight end or stopping U trips or and on and on and on. So, anyways, that's the defense. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the 245 odd defense of ebook there's a link in the description below